I was thinking long and hard about the vise on the secondary table. Now I've got my nice uh, Wilton vices, proper woodworking vices, side and the tail vise on my main woodworking bench. You know, that's, that's where I'm primarily going to do things. So what I wanted here was I, I, I didn't need to go spend $150 on a super high-end vise. I just wanted something simple because what I wanted to do primarily is just to clamp little things that I'm working on, you know, when I don't want to go over to the woodworking bench, uh, just more utility things, but I don't want a, machine, a machinist vise cluttering up my table. I want this to be a clean sweep across here. If I want to cut and work with long boards and materials, I can't, I can't have the vise. Worst thing you can do is have something bolted to your bench like that. But I want to be able to have that option if I'm, let's say I'm building an AR-15 or something and I need a little vise, you know, to do my work or, or that type of thing. So I thought I want a woodworking vise because it sits flush with the front. Um, it's not going to impede my workflow, but I can open it up and I can use it to hold things, which I'm going to show you here um, in the next couple of videos. That it's really cool. Really, it makes it modular. So I went on to Amazon. And as I tried to find some used ones locally at the junk shops, and I just couldn't find anything of any good. And they wanted so much money for the ones that they had, and they weren't, they, they weren't any good. And I found, I found this little Irwin. Um, you know, it's not a super high-quality vice, but it had such great ratings, and I think it was $18. I couldn't believe it. It was like four-and-a-half-star ratings on it. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll, I'll try it. And so it just came in the mail yesterday, and I... I I mean, I am pleasantly surprised. I had very, I didn't have great expectations for it, but it is a six and a half inch vise, which is a great size. It's, it's pretty small, um, but it's, uh, it seems to be really great. The castings look good on it, but I mean, for set $18, $19 prime shipped, I mean, good grief. It's just perfect for what I need. It's going to be so versatile. And, and we're going to put that in here right now. But man, if you're building a little table or want to get a little woodworking vise, I mean, 20 bucks? Are you kidding me? I will put that in my Amazon store at wranglermart.com and in the subject heading right below this video. I'll put a clickable link on there. But uh, good grief. That is, that's a heck of a nice, a heck of a great deal. How I suffered and stewed about the decision where to put this thing. But I think, I hope I don't regret this, but I think that this is going to make the most sense. What I've decided is to go on the extreme end of the bench. And the reason why it's not that nice to work over, well, because I can get to two sides. That's one thing. This is, but I'm just not going to be my primary vice. It's going to, well, that's what we, I decided on. So we have to do a couple things. So if you want to, if you want to just go the, the low rent model, you know, or the, or the, uh, the easy way, of course, you can just bolt it right there. But I don't want that. I want this to be, a, a, a vice should be, you know, people will, will argue, but the top of this here, should be um, between a quarter and a half inch or so from the top. You don't want that metal sticking up here on a woodworking bench because if you're using a plane or something, and you'll, you'll, ruin your, you'll ruin your blades or your irons. And also, these vices are designed to have you put little wood, hardwood blocks in there, which we'll do that here too, uh, so don't worry about that. So what we need to do, uh, because this bench is three inches thick, and I measured this, I need to come up recess this vise a half inch up into the bottom of the bench and that way we can get it and then when we put our hardwood blocks in we'll, those will stick up proud a quarter of an inch or so we'll plane them flat here and then we'll have a completely flat surface right there so if we're moving boards or we're you know we're pivoting things like this here we don't want we don't want to have a vise sticking up where you're running into things like that that's that's not not what we want we want it to be flush so that just you can use it you know to it to, if you're going to screw thing, different things down, you want it to be parallel there with the top, just like that. And then that, we'll do that with the wood. So what I've done is uh, I figured my last one I chiseled out by hand, and it was a pain. I'm going to show you on the t a different view here. So what I've done is I've made this little plywood jig uh, to guide my, my, my palm router. I, man, I'm a big fan of these. I, I don't know how I got by so long without one. I, I use this all the time. So this is going to be on the bottom side. I'm just doing this as an example. So because we need to recess, we need to, we need to basically take out a half inch bit of wood precisely here. And the reason being, imagine this, this is flip it, you know, imagine in your mind right there, these uh, rods and the screw have to recess down in there. That's because we want to lift that vise up. So what I, what, what I did is we have a, 
um, this is a mortising bit here for making uh, mortises, half inch. And so uh, the offset from here to the edge of this is, is an inch and a half. And so I, I overcut this jig thing an inch and a half so I can just use it as a guide to follow here, around here. You know, I'll go back and forth like this there and router all that out, have a nice, precise, exact, you know, have exactly where I want it and, not, and, and have a, use this as a guide. So let's, um, let's mount that up. We'll router this out. We'll mount the vise up and see how it works. So we can, I got my pencil marks already on here. I do my homework here beforehand so I don't have to make you guys suffer through all of that. And we'll just uh, temporarily screw this in. Now I've got my router set to a half inch. That's how deep I want to go. It might be a bit ambitious for this little router, but we'll try it. If it's too much for it, we can uh, back it off. Make two passes. So with this routed out, now our vise and its bars and all of that, the screw are going to get us set up there where we want it. That, that, that looks really good. Here you can see it from the side profile there. There's our, there's our quarter inch. That's just what I wanted right there. I have to say, I've really been impressed with the, uh, the Irwin products. It's an, it's an old name, but they're, they're not high end by any means. I, I think a lot of the stuff I bought at Home Depot or Lowe's, but just for example, so I, I have a set of Irwin paddle bits uh, that I bought years ago. And you know, when I was remodeling, a lot of them got chewed up by uh, nails and stuff. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get another set. They're not super expensive uh, for, uh, for the shop some nicer ones um, and so I bought some Bosch um, just recently and they're terrible compared I, I mean what I was used to with the Irwins uh, the Irwins were cheaper and they were a, a lot better but uh, man I just the more I look at this little vice for just a just a simple vice you know this is not for professionals I'm not saying that but uh, for under twenty dollars man it's it's really a great deal now you don't want to install your vise on your bench before you get those, uh, your hardwood jaws in there. I, I, I almost made that mistake again. I remember I did it last time. I had to take it all off because you can't get to the screws. Uh, so this will go up tight against the bench. And then the screws need to come in here to hold that hardwood jaw. So um, what I'm going to use is I found a piece of, this is a good piece of oak, solid oak hardwood. This was some stuff that was left by the previous owners at the house. Um, and I'm going to rip it down the table saw and we'll use that. That's a good hard wood that'll last, uh, last a lifetime. A cordless table saw that can rip through two and nine sixteenths of hard oak. I wouldn't have thought it possible. Now when you're putting your jaws on, you don't want them uh, touching that screw because it'll bind up. So I'm just going to use this little, you want to space that up about a sixteenth or an eight or so. I'm just going to put my little angle on there because that's about a sixteenth to get that spacing up there. And now I can put my screws in
So I think we made the right decision putting the vise over here. My intent for the vise, of course, is not to do woodworking on this one. It's not to do heavy work. Uh, if I'm going to do that or fabricating, I'm going to go out to the steel bench and the big, you know, the big vise or use the big woodworking vices. But it's primarily to hold, you know, simple things like this, like my sharpening stones. And I can put these here and I can have them and I can kind of leave them there so I'm not constantly taking them, putting them back, putting them away. I'm kind of leave them here, but still leave the bench open. Now, had, had I mounted this vise in the center, you know, then I would all constantly be moving things like this. But this is a portion of the, of the bench that's not going to get very much use. I still got, well, eight feet of unrestricted bench and I can leave things like this here. So there's gonna be lots of things that I, uh, lots of tools that, you know, like maybe a bench grinder, for example, that'll have a French cleat on it. Uh, that'll be set up that I can grab off the wall and I can put here. I'll put, I'm going to put more plugs on here. Um, or, or this, for example, you know, my leather strop. I can put that here and I can, I can work from both sides. That's really important to have a vise on the corner. Um, another thing that I will, that I will, will use is, is those of you guys have watched the channel for, a, you know, you'll probably remember this. This is a small, a, what is it, a three and a half inch Columbia I love this vise, smooth faced, it's a red arrow. And I built, built this little jig in here because uh, you, want, you want a, a metal vise sometimes, a little machinist vise to do small work. I know I mentioned like if you're doing work on your rifles or, or you're gonna build, build an AR, you know, it's nice to have a little vise like this that you can work at and, and it puts it up at a, at a really great height because usually you're gonna be doing detailed work on a a little thing like this and have it really close to you, you know, it's perfect. You know, I want to be working with my arms horizontal like this. This is really good for me. And we've got good light coming in. So it's, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking, you know, when I'm laying this out, you know, and, and we're not just limited to that. You know, we can put the vice, we can put anywhere we want to, if we want better light or you, know, you want to just be more in the midst of your, of your bench or in the middle of the room, I can, we can put it here and, and lock a C clamp on there. Um, very versatile, but I would imagine what I would probably keep here um, most of the time would be kind of configured this way. Looks like the red arrow needs a little bit of oil there. Oh yeah, that's a nice little vice, little anvil on the back. I, I really like. I've just I really enjoyed having that. But that is that's a good that's a good deal right there. Still plenty of room. We could sharp, sharpen here, have a strap on the edges. Just no limit, no limit, limitless. All right, that's probably about it for today. This video is probably going to run really long, but I am going to give you guys the option. You're going to be able to be the captain of the ship. You get to choose the content for the next installment of the Homestead Shop video. And, and here's the two choices. What should we do? Should I build a beautiful display case for all of my my hand planes that, that will, I have something in mind, uh, or a couple different things in mind that will display all these, that will make them, I can put my whole collection. I, I don't have a ton of them. I probably have seven or so. Pretty, I'm starting to get a good collection, but that's something we can build on. So as I add to them, or if I add to them, then there's room to grow. Or should we do a, um, the router cabinet with, I've got uh, two or three routers and, and all of that stuff and, and a router, kind of a router system, um, similar to what I did over there for the, um, the sanding. So you choose in the comments, would you like to see, should we do the hand plane display cabinet or should we do the router organizer? Which one? I'll let you guys decide. Whoever, whichever receives the most comments, that's what we'll do. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.